What's up? It's Southern Boy Gamer back at again for another video. I had to do a quick intro because I forgot to record, but this is Tell Me Why. Something I've been wanting to play, so I do apologize for this. So, here we go. Let's get started. Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? Mm -hmm. I... I went to show her my haircut. Look a mess. She had a gun. Oh. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... Damn. So I stabbed her. Damn. I killed my mother. Tell me why. Homecoming, chapter one. All right. Sheesh. Housekeeping. Okay, first, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Okay. Everything's fine. Alright. I believe we're gonna go back to that house. <sighs> and we still have Tyler. Alright. So, as you can tell, I'm playing something out of the ordinary for my category. I don't normally play these type of games. But today, since it's the second day of winter, you know, the season, just decide to do something different. So, this is Tell Me Why, part one. I'm just. I never play these type I of games. Tyler will even recognize me. 
Last picture I sent was from the bleaching my hair at home phase. Okay. All right. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler would want to go. Hey, you want to freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. Yeah. Okay. Mill look good. Let's see what's in here. Oh, come on. I just want to see. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. I'm single too. <laughs> Alright. That I I am saying. Probably not gonna see any stars at this time of day. Oh sorry. Oh, that's a hockey stick. Not the prettiest of my creations, but she weirdly kinda looks like me in the morning. Hmm. Look at this artwork all day. All right. Pfft. I haven't practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. So, I never play hockey, so. Got me there. I want to see what's on there. Oh, right. I stashed them down here. Okay. Ooh. Got a house keys in here. <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. Take that. All right, I think I'm ready to go now. Okay, let me check a couple more peeps. I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want, but it makes me happy just to look at the box. Found the weed. What the? Okay. All right, all right, let's go, let's go. Let's get to the story. I get out of here. Oh, let's, let's see what she was writing again. Yo. The heck is that saying? Snacks and joints. Car keys. That thing. I don't know what the second thing is. I can't wait. All right. I think I'm ready to go now. Yeah, wish. All right. Let's go. Let's get to the store now. <laughs> uh, Allie. She's going to be so awkward. Are you with it? I don't feel like we end up. We we for the gameplay. All right, dear Tyler, I know what you're thinking. A letter? Why are Will and Farmer? What's wrong with email? Well, I figured, hey bro, just want to give my twin a shout out before we night and after ten years of twin juvie. It's more like letter territory. Well, bro, you thank me when your ninety and the machines have taken over. And you still have something to read by counter like see always thinking ahead well anyways i can't believe you'll be out for a will in a few weeks what amazing i'm definitely going to be awkward when i see you so please try not to know it's okay how's your last month going are you sad about leaving your 
committees. I bet they're going to miss you. I got my tires replaced, so I'm all good to pick you up. And you can save the snark when you see my wife. She's been through a lot, and we can't all be car guys. Anyway, the Benchies let me take the day off so we can get straight to the whole house and get away for the sale and everything. Can't wait. Can't wait. To, uh, stay in school. Can't wait to never think about the place again. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. Love you, Allison. All right. Long behind love. All right. Can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. Dark Ark of Destiny. <sighs> Bummed I have to leave this behind. But the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. Man, the soundtrack to my angsty teen years. I'll leave it for the next rebel. They're gonna need it more than I do. Been listening to this on a loop lately. I don't get why you can't take it, but okay. Fire we do send a start. Student art to show at Grand House. Tyler Wonen, Troy Masters Young. To link it, artists with favorite local venue. Man, he's going places. And I'll be able to say I helped him on his way. Shit, I gotta do. Alright. Is there any way I can? Nah, that's someone else's problem now. Yeah, y'all weird that. Songs of Anderson are they? I know most of these by heart at this point. Yeah, I wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. A little goblin, huh? A nice ass uh. uh, Cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. Bye, Herbert. Denali. Uh, I need to get my application ready for next summer. Take me, the box of junk church is now yours. By the first law of finders keepers. Hmm. Is it? Is this the same level? Yeah, you know I'm bad at this, but you just want to say you've been the best answer at risk yet. We didn't with you, haha, ha, could want. Thanks for putting up with me and helping me in more ways than you know. I tried to make it count outside five weeks. The Bible is rebellion. Thanks, man. Tyler. All right. I like a dope poster, I ain't gonna lie to you. Let's skate. Aw, gonna miss these dum dums. <laughs> Alright. Think. Got it, damn. Say, but AK, unite. You stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema.
Where you get me? Water or something. Thanks. Okay. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last ten years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Uh, guess the people. Honestly, the people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. <laughs> Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. <laughs> Walking in the cold. No, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Why? Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. <laughs> oh, I can relate to that. Type of chip was it? So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. Did you hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? <laughs> Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I mean, they do. I keep the population down. I got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. Y'all hear that? What about you? Nation. Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I just 
trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a Fireweed van well, nose first better. in a ditch. Hey. At least you missed the porcupine. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Guess that normal life you wanted didn't live up to your expectations, huh? Okay. Mm. Having cable and full-time electricity was definitely a plus, but... No one ever forgets anything in a small town. You get marked a weirdo, and that's it. That's your life. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Hmm. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Where? That one over there? No, the one just beyond it. You know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Oh, right. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point and got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, it was. Oh, okay. Wow. It took me... <laughs> it took me a minute. See the smoke, okay. So... We're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? Yeah, Warfall. Interested buyers yet. Turns out Warfall. people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view. Unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Hmm. You gotta ask questions. Sometimes. I ain't gonna miss it. Allison. Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? What the heck it's is a it? Gift. Oh. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but. I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering, and you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. I'm making me too. I don't know. <sighs> All 
I'll right? take it. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. I Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, or even Uncle. <laughs> Hard pass. What's that? Did you hear that? I heard something. Them whales? Whoa. Yeah. There's no place like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. I guess it's just our time to explore, huh? Yeah. It's so weird being back on this boat. Hey, it's me. I'm hey, stuck. Before I talk to you, let me see with this. Now I know. The Nile Expeditions. Do drop and bed and breakfast. Two five eight bell squeak. Hobart Cove, Alaska House or mm, mm. Excuse me. House has walk in freezer and space for a deal and face process. And dust into making devil's club tea. I wear life community and coastal programming sponsored by Uma Heritage Foundation. Learn how to harvest and process Devil's Club to make tea. Sign up today. Yeah. Alrighty. There is no substitute to protect our own home. I need to see. Hey, Allison, can we take the scenic route? Allison? Don't think she can hear you. Guess not. Good call, by the way. Scenic route's longer, but the view's worth the time. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. Hmm. You from around here? Uh. Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaskan natives then. Clink it, Haida. I haven't been home in five years. Hmm. Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old real fast. Right. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. That's no good. Relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off of the pass. Oh. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Uh... I'm Tyler. It, I'm Tyler. Tyler Ronan. I, uh, uh... Ronan, huh? Ronan as in the Ronans? Uh-huh. So, uh, you're... I never knew those girls had a brother. We didn't. Ah. Uh, I, uh... Nice talk. 
Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy your time in town, Tyler. Yeah. I figured that was the situation. Well, not with the situation, but I figured that was it. I think they're trying to get gender the thing on a flag in his apartment. All right. Keep getting stuck. Let's go. Back to the car, Ronan. Is it? I mean, I guess this is it. No place like home. Basically, exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Mm. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. It got dark real quick. What happened? Something went on with their mom, I guess. After you. I mean, in the beginning, he they did say they stabbed the hell out of her, so obviously something went wrong. <laughs> That's the obvious point. I'm gonna just go find it. Pick out one. Uh, did you smoke something before you left fireweed? The door's right there. Look where I look, woman. Alright. See ya? He's talking all that smack. Crying through the window. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. Oh, oh yes, you got keys. You sure that's the right key? Look at you. See ya? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. Being yeah, smart. Be. Hop yeah. in the window. Find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. Come on, dog. It's obviously a window. <laughs> How we doing in the hood? We hop in the window. Come on. Yeah. I could break a window. You know civilized people don't do that, right? Oh, 
So we're civilized now? Well, maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place, and broken windows aren't exactly amenities. You fixed it. Be all right. <sighs> the crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us? We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The moon hag, the ice king, the old bear? Most of them, I think. But the details are fuzzy. Hey, do you know what happened to the book with all the stories? No, no idea. But I'm sure it'll turn up when we clean this place out. All right, cool. Uh... Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. I mean, I would they bust the windows out. I mean, come on. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. Yeah. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. Gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. Hmm. All right, let's see. Oh, you got bet. That you yawning? The fuck? All right. It's no good. I can't open this one either. It's okay. We'll find another way in. Y'all can fix the window. Y'all know that, right? All right, let's check here. Open sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. Yep. No any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew? <laughs> nope. Really? Of all the words, honeydew? So, any idea how we're going to get in? Hmm. We used to play under the house when we were kids. Yeah. We stashed all our goblin treasure down there. There was a hatch, right? That opened up into the laundry room? There was. I hope I can still fit. I'm a little taller than I was at 11. Uh, just sneeze? Bless she? Okay. I mean... Oh. What's it? You need a hand with that? No, it should be fine. Okay. We just get this board out of the way. I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Or oh, uh, kick the window in. <laughs> okay, most screwdrivers will be in a shed, right? So let's check here. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. Dang, y'all know how to pick a lock or something? <laughs> the heck is this? Okay. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah. We should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. Yeah, you need to uh, get rid of that. That's terrifying. All right. So we're uh, here. Yeah. And just nice. Mountains. Man, you need to really want to go out there? No, you're right. I can't take a sneak peek. Okay, okay, where's school driving? Right. Over here. How did she get around on these roads with this thing? She'd rather have broken her neck than spend money on a new one. Yeah, still waiting for those bikes she promised us. Uncle Eddie got me one, but I hardly ever used it. The door lock? Oh, of course it is. Hey, it's locked, all right.
Turn key is something. God dang. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. Screwdriver. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait. I um feeling something strange. What is it, Peterson? I'm not sure. I feel a disturbance. Yeah. Huh. And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. I'm pretty sure she can't see that. Whoa. Did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt oh, like it did when we used to share mind. thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And, uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. I don't think why nobody else happen? can. And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. What Here's you got? Bone. Yeah, me too. They are twins, so they could probably see stuff Hurry. too. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. So, which one of you is hiding the key? Hmm? Silent frog, the middle one, eh? You got your mouth Damn. closed. Where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. Ooh. All right. All right. Getting some stuff down. We take that. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? <laughs> What's that? What's that? Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Oh, uh, uh, bird sees. Oh, I heard bird. All right, let's get this open. Then. Snow. Want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Yeah. Who knows what lives down there now? I don't know what's in Alaska. I'm about to say possum or something. Everything okay down there? Tyler? <gasps> oh, that's not funny. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and why am I laughing? Okay, fine, but you're still an idiot. All right, I'm going in for real this time. Okay, I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes.
Ouch. Ouch. Ooh. Are you okay? What happened? Tore your head up. Your head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty. I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. I, uh, don't suppose you remember how to get to the hatch. I think so. We'll figure it out together. I got super twin powers. Dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. Left. Up. Oh, okay, I see a little goblins. Then left again after the goblins. Gotcha. The heck is that? Wow. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. I could dead end. Yeah. Yeah, it us. Wait, that was our treasure? It's just trash. We could make treasure out of anything. Our imaginations were that powerful. Pink. It always had to be pink. <laughs> I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. Goblin. Pass the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another childhood fantasy. Me too. But, but we well, really the mad hunter. Hmm. Why would they draw that? It's kind of creepy. Mad hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Marianne's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Well, I think he might be Will. I hear that. Oh, hats. I'm trying to figure out what that is over there. That. I mean, it look dusty, but what could you expect from an old home? They look pretty good to me. I guess we got bad memories, you know. again yeah same here so coming in or what just working up to it well we're here here we are So, 
How do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Wow. It doesn't seem real. Of course. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. I mean... Hey, I just put on the mask and pretended to be a warrior. You were the one who got freaked out by it. Not that she ever let me wear him very long. <laughs> Let's see what we got up in here. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. Good scrub, and we'll be rid of that too. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. She's a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. I can tell. What are we going to do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not going to wear it. Donation? Wow. Oops. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we were lab rats. I mean, it skipped like that. Fine. I mean, pawn shop dudes all day. Got jewelry. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. After all this time, I feel more mean. prepared to deal with this mess. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. Hmm. But not the part where it got broken, especially if we were the ones responsible. I know. I'm just saying she liked to save broken things. Right. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. Mm -hmm. Mary Ann's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. Yeah. Okay. All right. What the heck is that? What's going on? Stop playing to bad boy. In. What's going on? Um, Mom, about me joining the hockey team. Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Oh, damn. You my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short. Really short. What? Look, I'm tired. And I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me too. True, but it felt personal with me. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing. Can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. Sound like she was some character, huh? Hmm. I said not bad setup. She took so many pictures. Yeah. Like she had to document every second of our lives. It made her happy. And it was kind of nice to see her smile. I guess. 
You okay? All these happy pictures. They look so sad now. So staged. I know. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. I mean, we do like happy pictures, but one what went on before? Yeah, she must have went bad or something. I don't know. I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. Documents, was that? Yes. Hey mom, we all sorry the vase got broke. We didn't know you loved it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the win window room. Next time we will try and you good judge. <laughs> Please forgive us for doing bad things. I'm sorry too. We should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside instead. I would tell Ollie, but I can't read that. Uh, what happened? I'm sure it's still there. I should check our bedroom upstairs. I would tell Ollie not to be wild all the time. We ain't going to do it anymore. We are sorry. What are you reading? letter we wrote her to apologize for breaking that stupid face remember or your kids into good behavior great parenting strategy old textbooks Tessa gave them to us right yeah she thought we were gifted hey. we were it's not like she thought you think she knew we were sharing answers? We shared for fun. We both knew them all anyway. She pinched every penny. Yeah, every coupon. Definitely, I'm gonna be like that way soon. I need every coupon I can get right now. If you don't come up soon, I'm going to take whatever I want from our bedroom. No way. Wait for me. Know this? This feels like home. See you, love. Tyler, do you copy? If we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? Copy, Allison. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over. <laughs> the Mad Hunter. Oh, he still gives me the creeps. I wish I could forget about him. Nice set, I got. How did you convince me to let you put this up? It was my favorite movie, back then. Of course, everybody liked anime. So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. You know, there's that. one thing you gotta give Marianne. It's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah, I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. I'd rather you called him Chief Brown if you're gonna be an ass about it. <laughs> Can I 
I see what that jaw and what that is. Like a rocket hitting a sun face. Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. Pretty dope. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Now, I'm not going to read all this, but I will. If I decide to come back to it, I will. I can put in. I put a lot of work into this. Dang, how long is this story? Okay. Ah, uh, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Mom? Oh. Where is it? What did you do with it? What now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. What the heck did she oh, try to do? Back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Oh. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. Hey, Allison, Oli, we are right in front of the past, or like in the future. Anyway, Johnny is super cool. We took the train way, tram way, all the way up. Oli was scared. Either. We got some books, but Mommy went to the restaurant at night and forgot them. It was cool. There was a lot of whales on the ferry. No, 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 there wasn't. There was an award, stupid. <laughs> anyway, here's a postcard to remind you how awesome we are. That's it, me, A and O. 
Ali, Allison, and Oli Wallman. Work ordinary world, Dallas Carson, like Alaska. The diary's probably in Mary Ann's room. I should go check. Uh oh, something else going on. Oh. Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you'll be thrown bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. What we gotta do? What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. Okay. You have a better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. What about it? Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. Out of the book door, I don't have time for puzzles, dog. Do I have to actually weed this junk? Come on, man. <laughs> All right. There we go. <clears throat> and no, I did not cheat. Really, nigga? I'm lying. I cheated a little. And boom, we're in. Yourself. Sound. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Why not you really. You're not gonna let me forget that. Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Where did that sound? Yeah, she has some trash. dope art. No, I bet we could sell it on the internet. True. Maybe we could sell it to the guy who collects John Wayne Gacy's clown paintings. I mean, that's good. Decent art. Uh, something by Boyton. What's that? I just can't get 
through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Ugh. They used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why! I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this... As if she's still here. It's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? And something had to went on. Look at that. They ain't gonna say nothing. The wise princess. So she was standing here, spying through the window, drawing us while we played. She always had her eye on us. My entire body just shivered. Maybe she was just overprotective. Hmm. I tried to read this one. I can never figure out the order of the chapters, though. Didn't the author go insane or something? No wonder Miriam liked it. Ugh. Sewing lessons were the absolute worst. She made all our clothes. I'm sure she needed the help. And I, for one, am happy I can fix a torn seam. I see. You got some good things out of it. She and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods, or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. I'm getting sleepy too. Oh, there you go. It's here. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Yeah, see now. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. What? Look. Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? Maybe for a she little was bit. Mad, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air.
Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. We find out. What happened? Okay. Uh, here we go. That was always short. Amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. Maybe she just had issues. Um. Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Oh, snap. Mom? All right, get dark, y'all. To away to like the next day or something like it looked kind of dark in there the heck is that mm -mm. I want to post that Yeah, you just got a bad time. I know she ain't loading up no gun. Oh no. No, 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 This is wrong. This is all wrong. Wait, stop! What? I think she just. I don't think she mean attack. Be honest with you. Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project. I was her child. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... <sighs> it doesn't make sense. I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, no, I don't think so. She read my diary. She already knew. I don't think that it was it. hair. And if we were wrong about that... Fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened.
What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway. To get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. I was at so, the house. I was thinking, hmm? do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? We've been over this, and we both agreed it's time for a clean break. I know. Trust me. I'm not talking about staying for long. Just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Maybe not, but it's a place to start. <sighs> well, it would be a shame if there was something to find and we tossed it out. How about... We start digging without putting off the sale. And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. It's not been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. Book, then we honey. found the book, and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. What's high from? Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh god. I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place and the smells. Allison, the smells... Men smell bad. I know. I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. That's really what you need. All right. Deal. All right. Polly's diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. Remember that time we tried to cross the lake after it froze over? Oh yeah, how can I forget? Marianne lectured us for an hour. Well, she wasn't wrong, at least. It was really dangerous. 
If we'd fallen in, no more goblins. We grew up on this lake. We know how to spot thin ice. Nice ring. Gift from your boyfriend? Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. He had them both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be linked to the one he gave you, in a spiritual way. Do you believe in all that? You mean, do I believe we could be linked in some other metaphysical way? You know, other than the one that already lets us share thoughts and memories. Fair enough. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Alright, that be the end of this episode. Hope oh, everyone was doing well, by the way. I forgot to do an intro. So, I'm going to do an intro right now. What's up? It's... <laughs> Alright, so anyways, please hit that like button, subscribe for me. Appreciate everybody coming through. Much love. I will be doing live screens starting. It'll be a new year, huh? Yeah, 2022. We're on our way. We at around 240 subs. I appreciate everyone hitting that like button for me. Subbing it up for me. Showing love and support. Oh man, it's been a blessed year. I appreciate everybody. So, on your way out, share me out. I appreciate it. Go ahead and follow me on Facebook. Oh, I'm talking. About. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll be doing more posting on there. I do have a TikTok. What do you call it? TikTok that I'm starting up. I'll be doing more stuff like that coming pretty soon. Hopefully everything will be up and running kind of New Year's. And I'll be sending out more content ever. More than ever, I could say. And all I got to say, much love to everyone. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. All that good stuff. Appreciate you. Much love. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.